everyone, Sebastian here from Green Music Productions, and today I want to talk about my five favorite Cubase plugins of the moment. Now, I'm not going to talk about the regular EQ or compressor, even if I use them quite a lot. I want to dive a bit deeper and go into more creative plugins, so it's going to be interesting. I hope you like that kind of stuff. If you do, please click the like button and subscribe. And before we start, let's hear about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, video, freelancing, and obviously music. Whether it's music theory, learning an instrument, music production, even the music business, there's a ton of content on there. There's even specific things like how to make beats, how to design great synth sounds, or even Cubase specific videos. To give you an example, I've been following this class by Will Edwards called Wavetable Sound Design Strategy, and it's really insightful. It gives you a lot of tools to create better synth sounds. Now most classes are under 60 minutes with short lesson to fit any schedule. So I'll leave a link in the description below. The first thousand people to use the link will get a free one month trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Make sure to check it out and keep learning. So I have a session right here. I have a drum group. So we're gonna be able to test some of those plugins on my drum group. But before we start, I want to give a couple of honorable mentions. Um, things like the EQ in the mixer. It's not really a plugin, but it's super, super useful because it's super quick to access. You just have to click on it and then the EQ curve appears and you just tweak the EQ. So I really like it. I use it quite a lot as you can see because it's super fast. If you don't see the EQ curve, curves on the top of your mixer, you can go click on that button right here. It's called setup window layout in your mixer. It's on the upper right part. You click on it and you make sure you have equalizer curve enabled. So once it is, the only thing you have to do is go on the channel you want to tweak the EQ, click on it and start EQing. Now, uh, the thing about this EQ is that it's only four bands, but it's super useful for quick adjustment. Uh, obviously, you can have a uh, low cut I cut and you can have some regular shelf EQ. If you hold uh, the shift button on PC and Mac, it's going to adjust the Q. If you hold the control button, it's going to lock to the frequency position. And if you alt halt, it's going to lock to the gain position, but you'll be able to move the frequency. So it's super fast and easy to use. Now, let's dive into some more creative and fun plugins. The first plugin I want to talk about is a reverb that was introduced in Cubase a while ago, and it's called Revelation. Now, if you never use that reverb. Uh, most people tend to forget about this reverb, but it sounds really good. Obviously, there are a lot of presets right into the plugin just by clicking on the, uh, the presets field right here. And you can tweak a bunch of stuff. You have the early reflection versus tail percentage. You have pre-delay. Uh, but the cool thing is its preset goes really, really deep. You can have really fun stuff like a gated uh, ambience if you want like uh, the Genesis drum sound for example let's listen to it Uh, really cool stuff. Obviously, as I said, you can tweak a bunch of settings. I'm not going to go in detail, but I highly suggest you to take a look at this plugin. It's really nice uh, what you can do with it. It sounds lush. It sounds clean, but you can also do some crazy effects with it. Really good reverb, and it comes free with Cubase. Now, uh, the next um, plugin I want to talk about is Frequency. Now, you might be saying, well, you said that you wouldn't talk about regular EQs, but this is not a regular EQ. Let's say I want to dock, for example, the uh, 500 Hertz. Not only does it do stereo mid-side, it has a bunch of options. Uh, it's super powerful because it's also a dynamic EQ. So it's basically eight bands of compressors. Um, that is super cool. I really like that. Uh, for those using Pro Q3 from FabFilter, now frequency that comes with Cubase does the exact same thing. So it's really cool. Obviously, you can have uh, the dynamic field if you click on that dyna arrow here, if you want to enable the 
the dynamic EQ for that band, you just click the button right here. And if you want to see the full view for the dynamic options, you can switch between the views here. Single band view is gonna bring you all of the settings so you can tweak it as if it was just a regular compressor, but you're tweaking the dynamic values of that specific band. So let's say I want to dock the drum at 500 hertz, but I don't want it to be static. I don't want the dip to be static on that 500 hertz. Let's press play and try to tweak it. So just like that, the EQ is not affecting uh, the whole drum at all time, but only when the transients are reaching the threshold. And I tweaked the attack so it lets some transient in, but then it's, it's going to start ducking. So it's basically going to remove the boxiness after the transient, which is what I wanted here. So really cool stuff. Obviously, it's way more than that. It, you can use it as a parametric EQ and you can do mid side you can do a bunch of stuff with it so it is really nice to have and you also have a keyboard here so you know exactly what frequencies equals to what notes so if you have a specific resonance on your bass guitar for example at a specific note you can reduce that specific resonance exactly as you can see here with the keyboard now the third plugin i want to talk about is the multi-band envelope shaper I talked about this plugin in the past. I use it quite a lot on drums because it's just so good what it can do on drums or anything that has transient or just any other instrument that you would like to be more punchy or uh, to be tighter. Um, what it does is basically, it's basically four uh, different transient shaper, but that can be divided in different bands of frequencies, but you have a lot more options than just regular transient shaper. So obviously you can solo different bands, you can um, enable, disable them, you can just raise the volume, lower the volume, change the frequency between the different bands, but let's just press play and I'll tweak it a bit so you'll see what it does. So, if I want more attack in the bass, but I want to make it tighter, and maybe a bit more attack here, make it tighter as well, and let's make it super tight. So, without with oh no this is a part with distortion i don't want to show you that with without it's crazy what it does it's so easy to do and let's push it to the extreme and make it extremely tight and extremely punchy So without, with. So I'll probably release some of the high at attack here. And mids as well. But it's beautiful way, what it can do. It can shape the drums or any transient instrument. I love the plugin. I use it all the time. And the next plugin is another really funky plugin that you can do a lot of things with and it's Quadrafaz version 2 similar uh, kind of stuff it does multi-band it has four bands and you can change obviously the different bands you can tweak them you can raise the volume of the different bands but it's a multi-band distortion and you have different types of distortion per band so you can have tape tube distortion amp and decimator so it's really powerful, and if you change the type of distortion, you have different settings as well. Uh, you can you have a mix knob for pretty much uh, all of those creative crazy plugins, so it's really useful because you can do parallel processing and blend them as you want. And per band, you also have obviously some drive, but some delays, you have some width, so you can make some bands wider, 
Uh, and you can pan the different bands separately if you want. So you can do some really cool, crazy effect. As you could hear in my drum at some point, it was switching to the distortion part. So it was the quadrifaz kicking in at that section. So let's just try to tweak it and see what it can do. That delay kicking in, it's really cool. So really creative and funky. I use it when I can, when I want that kind of effect. And it's really, really fun to use. Uh, now for the last one, it's uh, probably the latest plugin that's been introduced in Cubase and all of those that I just talked about. And it's the uh, multi-tap uh, delay. Uh, now, this is really creative as well. You can do a lot of crazy stuff. The beautiful thing is you can use it as a regular delay. You have different characters. so. Uh, custom, digital, modern, digital, vintage, tape, and crazy, crazy is amazing for sound designers. I'm going to show it to you a little later. Uh, but you can tweak a bunch of things. You can add some taps and change the timing. So let's just say I have three. I can make a rhythm that is not linear. So let's try that. So it's a bit crazy right now. Let me just um, reduce the feedback a little bit. And the beautiful thing is you have options like Docker. What Docker will do is that when your actual hits are kicking in, uh, the delay is docked automatically and then it, the volume gets back up according to the release time that you have here. So let's try it out. So this is, this is really cool for vocals since you won't have any delays clouding the actual uh, vocal performance. It's just gonna come back after there's a silence. So that's really neat. And you can also increase the spatialization again just for the delay. So let's try it out. So this is dead center and this is sides. But the beautiful thing is in the effects that you can add. And you can add the effects on the whole loop. You can add effects on the different taps with different parameters. And you can have post effects at the end. You can blend them separately. And it's really amazing what you can do. You have a bunch of effects, chorus, phaser, envelope filter, bit crusher, pitch shifter, delay, auto band, flanger, vibrato, filters, overdrive, frequency shifter, reverb, and gate. So it's pretty amazing what it can do. And just to show you, let's listen to crazy what it does. You'll see that it does really something crazy on the drums. So, as a video game sound designer, I really like that. I use that kind of stuff quite a bit and I can even add some effects. So let's try it out. You can automate all of those as well, so that's pretty cool. Let's add a bit of overdrive. And maybe a reverb. It can blend in. So 
So right now I'm I'm just blending this all effects section uh, with the mix. I just bypassed it, but it's really powerful because then you can have more effects on just the different taps and change the parameters per tap. So let's say on the chorus, I want to tweak the width. I can tweak the width on just this one and you can change it per tap. So it's super cool what you can do with it. It's really powerful. Make sure to give it a try. Now, as I said, I used it like this example was a bit crazy, but you can use it as a regular delay. You can have custom rhythm. You have a tap a rhythm over here. You can quantize it. You can randomize. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Give it a try. You won't regret it. Now, I hope you like that video. We often overlook uh, the Cubase stock plugins, but there are a lot of really great plugins in there. So make sure you check them out. And as usual, see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.